Teachers who are new to a school or district can easily feel overwhelmed. Getting to know expectations, school cultures, school and district-wide initiatives, and of course, curriculum, can be exhausting. But in the Sioux Falls School District, you're never alone. Ellie, Maya, and Kylie are new hires at Robert Frost Elementary. Here's how the first year has gone for them. Every week I get a meeting with my instructional coach, Lindy. We go over teaching, anything from like organizing my room to talking about what I'm teaching and going through curriculum. I also have um, co-teachers who have been teaching for a while and they I plan with them and they help me. And as a first year teacher, this has been really helpful because I kind of came in not exactly knowing what I'm doing and new to the curriculum. Everyone who is a new hire in the school district, they get to go to New Hire Academy. So that meets once a month and we go over the curriculum um, and it is a really deep dive into either math or writing or reading. It gives us a better idea of what we're teaching and why we're teaching it. Um, and then me and my co-teacher Ellie, we also get to meet with Lindy, our coach, every Monday at 1040 at our planning time and we get to go over more specific things we want to work on in our classroom. In the beginning you you have this, oh, I'm so excited, I'm gonna work so hard, but you don't know what you don't know. Um, and then you find out how much you don't know and the things that you should be doing, and it can be so easy to get this feeling of, oh my word, I'm so overwhelmed, it's too much. So having somebody that you know in your school, well, we probably come to more than once a week. We also get to meet with our coach once a week and ask her any question that we have, but she's in her building, so if there's anything during the week um, outside of our meeting times, Lindy is there for us. At the beginning of the year, I was struggling to know how to teach the curriculum, and having those conferences with Lindy has helped me know what to teach. So Lindy came in and we would co-teach lessons, or she would come in and observe me, and then we would debrief together and talk about ways that I can improve my teaching. My first year of teaching was last year in the Fridley School District in uh, right outside of Minneapolis. And our instructional coach came in to observe us. So it was almost like the step down from the principal. And so it was a different relationship since they were assessing me. Um, so when Lindy came in and told us that that's not her job at all, it relieved a lot of pressure for Ellie and I. Um, because we knew this person wasn't here to judge us. They were here to help us grow. Um, and that's, you know, when at the first few weeks of school, when you're setting up your classroom, um, it's really nice to have someone there to catch all the little things that you don't see or come alongside you when you don't know the curriculum. What's really great is that there's someone there as a source for all of those questions that I have. I never feel like I'm bugging my coach when I go to her. She is a resource for us and so I can take my learning any route I wish. When we meet once a week, she's always asking what do you need? What questions do you have? What's going on in the room that we need to address? Um, so it's really self-driven but just a constant resource. Talking with Lindy about my students work and my teaching has helped them become stronger readers and learners because they, I'm able to teach them better. I have seen a lot of growth with my students, um, not only with behavior. So, you know, beha behavior and academics. At the beginning of the year, Lindy came in and helped me to polish up transitions, to polish up um, defiance. So I have a lot of children in my class who tend to be defiant and um, will refuse to do things. And so we talked about the Boys Town strategy of do it now or do it later. And I still use that in my classroom and it works like magic because they know I'm gonna follow through. Um, so that's been great. And um, the other thing that's been great is just student growth altogether. With them being able to choose, um, I've also implemented that into my reading workshops. So they know what to do, they know what they need to work on. Um, 
and it's also tailored to their specific needs, another touch that Lindy sent me. My kids, I think, have seen me definitely grow and my expectations of them have become so much clearer working with my coach that our classroom is working more efficiently. Um, when my expectations are clear and their expectations are clear, they know exactly what they should be doing, they know where they should be, they know who to go to, they know who the, where their resources are. So hopefully my clarity is their clarity. The front loading can be so big. So our coach lets us kind of ease into it and then when she feels like we're ready, she'll bring that new item into us, she'll come into the classroom with us, she'll introduce it, she'll show us what our expectations are and also the expectations of the students. I have really appreciated her coming into the room with me because a lot of the like IDR conferring, writing conferring, I didn't even know what that would have should have looked like. So she kind of got to be the master teacher, the model, um, because she knows the curriculum. The biggest thing that I've learned is truly understanding what I'm teaching and why I'm teaching it. So you know, talk about workshop again, where when you go into workshop, you know, as a teacher, the easiest way to plan is I'm gonna pick the game, I'm gonna pick all of these things, set it up how I want it. But after talking with my instructional coach, Lindy, it really opened up, well, it's not for me, it's for the, the students and their growth. So having an instructional coach come in and show me there's more to the curriculum than just, you know, the basics, it's been really cool to see that and be, been able to grow specifically my workshop for math throughout the year.